I hope you're doing well today. I just wanted to make a quick video based on a topic that um, came up today in, in a couple sessions, a few different sessions, and a topic on, uh, that I think is very, very important, very critical actually. And that's around discipline and the idea of becoming more disciplined. Sorry, my hand's a little shaky here. Hopefully that doesn't affect things too much. Um, discipline can be a beautiful, beautiful thing when it's used correctly. It can help us achieve all kinds of things that otherwise we, we couldn't achieve. It can help us reach our potential. And ultimately it will lead to freedom. Most people are really, when we start to explore, we realize, myself included, are really enslaved to what we're thinking and to our reactionary emotions and behavioral patterns, unconscious habits. So discipline can be really useful in creating change. Where it's a problem for a lot of people I've found, myself included in the past, sometimes presently, is that discipline can do one of two things. If, we, if we're not using it correctly, I'll get to what I mean by that in a minute. Discipline can uh, lead us to be very, very rigid in our energy. So not open to the flow of life, to the grace that's available to us. You know, when we tap more and more into our true nature, that awakeness or that beingness or that consciousness, whatever you want to call it, that part of that, that not part of us, that real us, the, 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 the real you that is synonymous with joy, with pure bliss, with love, with peace. This part's always, this, this you is always there. It just gets obscured by a lot of things. So we can use discipline to move closer and closer to that. But where, where it gets misused is that we become very rigid. We get closed off, like I said, from this, from this true nature, from your essential, most essential, most authentic self. And it's a self that we all share. I love that analogy that a lot of spiritual teachers have used over the, over the millennia of the ocean. That we all see ourselves as a separate wave on the ocean. Some waves are big, pedal waves, some waves are small. But ultimately, when you look at a wave, what is it? It's the entire ocean functioning as that wave. And it's not some separate wave, it's all one ocean. And so our, our true nature is something that we all share. It's just we covered over psychologically through conditioning, through the narrative that we hold for ourselves, the beliefs, the roles, the rules, unmet needs, and, and these wounded parts that we tend to carry. And so discipline, while it can be very, very beautiful, and I'll come back to that in just a moment, uh, can, if we're forcing ourselves, forcing ourselves, forcing ourselves, can lead to this very rigid energy, this block that keeps us from all that. Or for a lot of people, and this is me in a lot of ways, um, we'll, we'll go through periods of being very, very disciplined. And then we fall off, we crash and burn, or so we'll go up and down. And quite often when we fall off, we'll beat ourselves up for it. And as you can imagine, that's not very a very effective strategy you know, for, for discipline and for what will result if we can do that. So a better way to look at it, I find a very, very useful way to develop and cultivate a true sense of discipline that doesn't lead to rigidity and that doesn't um, lead to this yo-yo pattern. Well, is to, it is twofold. One is to have learn to cultivate compassion for ourselves, but two, is instead of looking at looking at it as discipline, as we start to look at it, I was reminded of this in, in a teaching from one of my favorite teachers today, Adi Ashanti. 
And it's to look at it as courage, cultivating courage, not so much discipline. So cultivating the courage to be really honest with our life situation and any changes we need to make there. Cultivating the courage to be really honest with our perception and our perspective of things in our life. To look at it and see where we might not actually even be telling ourselves the truth. So we, we cultivate the courage to be really, really honest with ourselves. Honest with what we can call mistaken beliefs. A misperception of events is more often the case than not. And misperception is based on the, all these points of pain, these unconscious points of pain that have been suppressed for so long, that we've carried for so long. So can we cultivate the courage to, to, to become aware of what we're feeling in this moment? See, our perception of what's going on is our perception. Valid, certainly valid, but it may or may not be accurate. The feeling, the emotion, is always real. It's not, not, only, not only is it valid, but it's always real. Why? Because it's what we're feeling. So can we cultivate the courage to go deeper into that, to actually discover what, that, what we're feeling, for instance, and, and feel it? Can we, call, can we cultivate the courage to, to give to somebody where we might withdraw? Can we cultivate the courage to speak our deepest truth instead of what we maybe mistake as the truth? So I'm going to get, share a couple of questions. These are from Adi Ashanti um, that you can ask. I found them. I just finished doing some, uh, I finished up some sessions. Like I said, uh, did some journaling just now because I really felt the need for it. And these, cur these questions I came across today, um, it's out of a book from Adi Ashanti called The Direct Way. Let's sit here. Um, I've gone through this quite a few times now, but I absolutely love this one. Yeah, this whole this whole series i find it very very powerful very effective and the questions that he posed in today's practice that i was reading number one where in my life is a bit more courage called for i found that to be a wonderful question second question where am i holding back because i have not yet been willing to embody courage and i love that one i was like a almost like a mind blowing one for me today. Yes, I've read it before, but just to come back to it. Uh, another one. Let's see here. Uh, what happens when you stop waiting and begin to exercise courage, not in a cavalier or indulgent way, but in a conscious way, as I'm as I'm talking about. And again, this one, this one, this question was also mind blowing for me. What might it mean for me to be a little more courageous right now, as in this moment? And that actually what, what is what brought me to this video. I wasn't, uh, there was a part of me not wanting to do any videos these last couple of weeks, just with things that I've been processing myself and that question. It just kind of like, it's like a, there was a bit of a breakthrough moment right there. And just this urge to get on the video and share this. I just found it so powerful. So with that, you guys, rather than looking to cultivate discipline, which can be very forced, cultivate courage. The discipline comes from there. And then it's a much more natural expression of what you find. And ultimately of that true nature, which I, I'm hoping that, you know, it, that we all can touch and experience more and more and more in our lives. That we can take, if you've had a, an awakening and experience, that you can begin to take that and embody it and begin to live it in your life. And again, it's not that, you know, not that you're going to be free from being triggered or even from reaction sometimes where the, where the emotion takes you over. But you'll find more and more comfort, more and more okayness with these emotions and so less and less reaction. And in terms of the courage, you know, as you ask these questions, and when I've done this before, I'm going to end just today, 
you'll find you just naturally start to do things a little bit differently. It's like, right, if I had more courage, this is what I would do. So I'm going to do that. So with that, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, if you have any comments or questions, I'd love to hear from you as well. Um, you can direct message me. You can comment on this video. I hope you have a beautiful day. Wishing you all the best.